566. All right, introducing the Skyrider 98. So this is a frame that if you have been following the community posts, um, so my non-videos, you probably know about this frame already. I have, I've had it up on CNC Madness, or actually CNC Drones. Um, it's already up there and you can get it. And I sort of did a soft launch because normally when I bring you a frame, I don't want to just bring you a frame. I want to give you a whole quad. I want to give you a suggested build. I want to give you a tune. And at this point in time, I'm only about like, I don't know, 80, 90% of the way there because I don't have a good black box tune for this yet, mainly because what I was trying to do was I was hoping that Flywoo F405 board um, was going to do well on 1S and it had black box, but unfortunately it just doesn't do well on 1S. And I don't want to try and tune on that board where I don't know if I'm getting a good tune because the board is just not really performing very well on 1S. But um, there's several motor options with these like little 1002s. You know, RCN Power has them, uh, Flywoo has them. I think I sort of just saw just Happy Model just came out with a set. And UB Drone put out some 804s, which might also be useful here. And these are really nice props, these Gem Fan 2015 props. I like them a lot. And so rather than sitting on this forever, I figured I might as well try and actually put the frame out there in a more uh, public way and let people know about it. So. My first crack at this size was a slightly smaller frame, it was a 90 millimeter, and that's to try and maximize, or at least what I was trying to do was maximize sort of that novelty of the small footprint, but what I found is that these quads just need a little bit of help in terms of tracking with a slightly bigger wheelbase. So 98 millimeters is getting close to what I think is the sweet spot for um, these little micro quads. The sweet spot to me is actually about like, you know, one... 112 to 116, somewhere in that size. I think that's where you get the best balance of tracking, um, yet still retaining the nimbleness. But you don't want to go overly large because then you're just kind of wasting unsupported arm space and you're getting heavier. And um, you also lose a little bit of that novelty of just how small these are. So in terms of this frame, this is a Skyrider frame, which is intended to be kind of built up like a whoop conversion. So you basically take whoop parts and stick them on a frame and make it open, open prop and make it handle a whole lot better with more power and more control. And the um, features, the way I set this up is, you can see how the holes here are at the ends with not a whole lot underneath them. And so that should allow you, if you have motor plugs or things like that, it should, I'm not sure, I haven't tested on all the boards that are out there, but you should be able to stick those motor plugs down underneath. And obviously anything like your um, USB and things like that, it's gonna have room to stick out underneath. And so it should make it for fairly painless um, builds. And even if you want to use motor plugs, it should work with that. Uh, the Skyrider frames, like all my frames, are intended to be, um, to, to be a good balanced frame. So it should be robust enough. The baseline frame is um, 1.5 millimeters. Um, and that will work with the regular screws, uh, these little M1.4s um, in the short length that comes with most of the whoop size motors. Um, but I'm also going to offer this in two millimeters if you want a slightly thicker frame. So if you tend to fly beat up props or beat up motors and you need a little bit more robustness in terms of controlling the vibrations, then go up um, to the two millimeter. But to do that, you're going to need slightly longer screws. You're going to need uh, four millimeter M1.4s. And so I'll put a link below to um, like Amazon. You can get those on Amazon pretty easily. You can see that although this is a lightweight frame, let me give you the weight on this. Scale out here. So this particular one weighs in at 3.8 grams. Um, although it's intended to be a lightweight frame, it's also intended to be nice and robust. It's supposed to resist that torsional um, twisting really well to control the noise. And um, also give you a nice clean area underneath the props. You don't have a lot coming out here and interfering with the props. You know, and these little ones, they need, they need like all the thrust they can get. So you don't want to have things that are coming out and interfering with the thrust. But at the same time, you don't want the arms so long that you're going to get into the torsional issues. Like all my frames, um, this is cut along the weave. And you can see that there. And that will give us a nice crash resistance. Um, the motor mounts are uh, fairly universal where it's got the three hole M1.4. It's also got the M2 size on a nine millimeter rotated. Um, and you can see there and there, and that will stick the plug out kind of at a kind of awkward angle, but at least if you want to try something that has 
the um, M2 screws, you can at least, on, on the 9mm diameter, you can at least try it. Um, what else do I have to say about this quad? Not a huge amount. I mean, you've got several options with these RCN powered 1002 motors. Flywoo has a set, Happy Model has a set. Um, RCN power also coming up shortly will have some 1003s, which might be interesting. Um, and and so this is like a, uh, you've got basically good props and several motor options. In terms of uh, batteries I'm flying on, you kind of want around a 450, 520, kind of in that size range. And so with that battery, are all up weight. So let's see, uh, dry weight here, the way I have it built. And that's coming in at 26.8, so about 27 grams um, dry weight. Throw on the battery and we're gonna be at like 40 something. We're gonna be at, let's see, 41.5. So like 42 grams all up weight. You definitely don't wanna go uh, much beyond that because um, your power is going to start to suffer and your efficiency is going to start to suffer. So you do want to build it up light. You can see I've got this um, Nubi Drone uh, BI canopy. I've got the LDARC 199C camera. I could save a little weight on this board because it has separate VTX and, um, and receiver. So you could drop a little bit of weight there. I am flying on these GNB27 connectors, which is probably about the best connector for this size, kind of balancing the weight and efficiency. Um, I'll put this up on rotor build so you can see my full build. And um, I do have a preset for a tune. Again, the tune is like a, it's a starting point. It's not fully black box done. So as soon as I have a 1S board, hopefully TuneRC gets their board out and hopefully it does have black box on it. Um, as soon as I can, I'll give you a black box tune on these little 1S um, guys. All right, so Skyrider 98 frame. Uh, so it's 98 millimeters, motor mount to motor mount. Uh, available in 1.5 millimeters and 2 millimeters, already available on uh, CNC drones. Also, you can get the STL file um, or DXF. I forget which one I post up. Um, but you can get the file to get it cut uh, off of um, the Kofi site. Uh, I'll leave you with a little bit of um, uh, flight footage here. Uh, I think you've already seen basically what this can do on the slightly smaller frame, but um, a little more flight footage never hurt anyone. So. Till next time, cheers. Okay, let's get this little guy up in there. So, I'm flying this on the uh, uh, Tattoo R-Line 500 battery and kind of show you, let's give you a little sense of the punch out here. A little oscillation there, but pretty solid, pretty solid punch out. So it's not bad for this tiny little quad. Um, in terms of the Nimbleness and tracking, I'm trying to give you a sense of that in here. This thing is a little bit of more of a handful just because it's so small and so agile, but it is like just absolutely harmless size, you know. So I think the real niche for these is flying this in places where you know you might be kind of intimidated or concerned to fly a bigger quad, and that's where this thing really shines. So um, as I said, you know, I got to do a black box tune on this. This isn't 100% perfect, but I figure I'm not going to wait on the frame forever until I can do that. Uh, in the meantime, I still think it's like, even though it's not a perfect tune, it's pretty fun. And I'm kind of showing you um, where this quad is going to struggle. I'm kind of like showing you those bigger um, punch outs and catches, you know. Um, and it does okay. That's the weaker part of this quad, but it does okay there even though it's so small um, and I wouldn't call it, definitely wouldn't call it underpowered. I mean, realistically speaking at this size, this really has quite a bit of decent power. And you can see with this 98 millimeter frame, I definitely feel more comfortable coming through there than I do on the 90 millimeter frame. Uh, and it definitely makes this quad, for me, quite a bit more fun to fly because I'm just, I feel more relaxed with it and I feel like I can get through spaces a little bit more confidently than I could with that little 90 millimeter frame. So you give up a little bit of the novelty because obviously this is gonna make this quad bigger now than that little 90 millimeter build. But I think the trade-off is worth it. This just flies, you know, better. Um, some of the things that I don't think you're gonna get fully out of it, even if you really try and push the tune, is that little bit of prop wash. You know, you just don't have big blades on here. 
and you're carrying a pretty big battery for the size of the you know uh, props and motors and so that always means you're going to get into a little bit of rough air and have a little bit of that um, prop wash because it's going to be able to sink you know kind of push push into the momentum is going to push it into the air there but as i said you know with this being so small it's like i'm not really worried about flying it in um, some of these tighter spots where uh, you know, if you wanted to go fly to a park or something like that and you're worried somebody might pop out um, unexpectedly. Now, obviously, you always want to have uh, the space uh, to fly and not inter encounter people, but, you know, realistically, things just happen sometimes. And so at this size versus, for example, those big old, um, you know, 3-inch uh, 1203 builds with the 720 battery, uh, this is going to be much more reasonable. So let's bring this down. That's pretty much done right there. Let's see where this rebounds out. Yeah, so that's okay. So I got a little short of 330, uh, 324. We could have pushed it. You can see we're at 3.57. So I could have pushed it, you know, a tiny bit further. But I think that's a decent little flight. Um, I'll do some more flights with this one. I haven't really flown it too much recently, so I'm a little rusty on it. But um, I'll give you some more flights. All right, Till next time. Cheers.